I saw a debate online about counselling in transplant patients and I thought it wasn't the most relevant subject. I mean, maybe the most relevant subject is a subject that people don't want to talk about. But the most relevant subject is how long transplant patients live. Since it's not a very long time. In fact, the average length is about the same as the life of a Great Dane, which is nine, ten years. It's very short. I've had my transplant about 38 years now. It's not particularly easy. No point in me lying about that. You experience four times all the things that normally kill someone in nine years. But it is odd that no one sort of says, well, how come you live longer than most of the other people? And uh, it's always good to ask some advice on that subject. It's the same advice pretty much as a lady I knew who had her transplant 30 years. And she just said, make sure you take all the pills in a day and drink. So it's not really that important whether you take this pill or that pill, or this time of day or that time of day, or with food or not with food. The only real rule there is is uh, take the medicine. So, some tips to how to remember this. You know, how to remember your medicine. I mean, one of them is don't run out. But every now and again, I forget. I forget that I've taken it. Or I forget to take it, or the other way around. I forget to take it, and I might just forget I have taken it. So in that case, I take double. Which, honestly, it doesn't kill you. It just means uh, for a night you'll have a tacrolimus level of double what it should be. So it might be about 12, but if you just do it for one night, not going to make much difference to you. So if we three to five years I will forget and I'm currently forgetting again at the minute so as soon as that happens I realize I have to take some action on the subject. So over the years I've done all sorts I've worn a bum bag with all my pills in it so whenever I go anywhere they're with me all day and the bum bags have gone out of fashion, so that's not so good. Uh, you can try writing it down, that gets boring. I've never thought much of taking them out of the boxes. I don't think that's just going to confuse the matter for me, sticking them in. You're not really supposed to take them out of the packet anyway. So, I used to use a, a watch that had alarms on it, a couple. I think that wears off too. And smartphones were probably the best thing. They uh, are very good. You can set about as many alarms as you like. So you can sit, set five or six alarms if that's what it takes. But even then, you just get used to ignoring it. It doesn't register anymore. 
So I've gone back to my trusty old watch. But um, it's not enough. So the real secret to remembering your pills, say at you know, nine in the morning or nine or ten in the evening. is that you have to remember it all day you can't just think well I'm going to remember it at 9 and I'm going to remember it at 10 in the evening that doesn't work you have to remember you have a transplant all the time 